can't stay right Wrong in me came out tonight Raging war against the law of my mind I'm a wretched man in a losing fight Thanks be to God who delivers me Thanks be to God who delivers me Christ, Christ to love come and set me free I've seen the light But the shadow inside is still alive Raging war against the law of my mind I'm a wretched man in a losing fight Thanks be to God who delivers me Christ alone, come and set me free Thanks be to God who delivers me John, man, this is such a privilege, man, uh, to sit down and talk with you about songs. And I've been, you know, a massive fan of your writing and artistry for so many years. But thank you so much for joining us. Honored to be here. Very excited. Well, man, let's talk about this song. I mean, you're just finishing up an album uh, called Departures, um, you know, that you've worked on all this year. And um, man, this is an amazing song that's on this record called Thanks Be to God. And man, I love this song. You know, the the first line of this song like really just grabbed me when I was listening to it. It says, I want to do good, but I can't stay right, you know? <laughs> and uh, man, I feel like that's like, that's the struggle of every man hmm. or every person. So talk a little bit about this song. I feel like, you know, even this song is very reflective. I've read, you know, a lot of your great thoughts around this album and a lot of things that inspired it, but this song really feels like it's uh, kind of encapsulated a lot of those feelings and thoughts around your making of this record. But talk about this song uh, in particular and some of the inspiration behind it. Yeah, I think for me, I find solace in the fact that a lot of my fears and doubts are not mine alone. And I can look back hundreds of years or thousands of years and find similarity in the writing of, of, you know, people long gone. So this, this particular song was inspired by St. Paul in the New Testament, talking about his, his own uh, struggle. And I feel like struggle is something that I can relate to. Mm. I 
cannot relate to someone who has it all figured out. And so th this song, that's, that w that's where this song was born. My wife, years ago, she wanted me to write, a, well, she, she wanted me to record a worship album for her. And so I immediately started learning, you know, Chris Tomlin songs. <laughs> and and she said, no, 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 you, you have to write the songs first. <laughs> and so th that was a really a tricky challenge for me being a pastor's kid, because I feel like um, growing up in the church, I was used to singing everyone else's songs. And it was really one of those things where I, I care so deeply about my faith and um, the theology and and the richness of the heritage that we have that I didn't want to get it wrong. It felt like truly sacred ground that I was walking on. And so I kind of, at the same time, I was listening to a lot of Bob Dylan and, and Johnny Cash. And I had this realization that a lot of my favorite songs were, were lifted from scripture. Mm -hmm. And so I, I had this, this uh, epiphany that if I stole from the Bible, there wouldn't be any copyright <laughs> infringement. And so a lot of the songs that I write that are, that are deeply spiritual are directly lifted from the Bible. And this one is absolutely um, taken with more than just a nod from St. Paul. Yeah. Well, it's so good. I mean, it's always powerful to put scripture in the mouth of worshipers, you know, when you're when you're leading in a church, having a church respond and seeing just scripture and the truth, it's such a powerful thing. And you know what I love about the song is, you know, it could have very easily been a lament, you know, um, because that that Romans chapter seven, that whole writing from Paul is is a little bit of that. I mean, he's really struggling, and you can tell of just working out, you know, why it is, you know, that these two sides of him, you know, war against each other, but. I love in the in the course of this song, uh, it really turns, uh, like Paul does, it, it it turns to a praise response when you get to that chorus and that thanks be to God who delivers me. Yeah, um, turning those doubts and those, you know, just struggles into you know what I may not ever understand this, but man, thank God that you do and you've got me through all of this. It's it's mm. really great. Yeah, I love the question right before who. Who, who will set me free? Who will deliver me? You know, <laughs> and I definitely, that, that's something that resonates with me. I, I was hoping that this song could be kind of a, a, kind of a way to pay respect for so many, the great hymns that we have. I wanted to lean on, on a lot of those intervals and mel melodic, um, phrasing. So that's, that not only are the words kind of um, borrowed from thousands of years ago, but I wanted the melodies to be grounded mm -hmm. in, in that particular discipline as well. Yeah, that makes total sense. When, when I listen to this song, I, it feels like it's, you know, it, it could be an Irish hymn or something like that. It's just got like that melody quality to it. And I've noticed that in a lot of the songs that you've written for the church is that there's a timeline, timelessness there. And even, you know, some of the songs you've written, you know, 10 years ago, you know, they're still being sung in church today. And I think that speaks to that just, you know, one, they're rooted in scripture too. They've got these melodies that feel really accessible and just really timeless. You know, they're not something that's really like today is hot and tomorrow, like this doesn't work anymore. <laughs> Thank you so much, man, for, for sitting down and sharing about this song. I'm super excited about this record. It's, it's, it's incredibly honest, and um, it's exciting. We'll get to sit down a little bit later and um, talk a little bit more on our podcast. But, man, I really appreciate you taking the time to talk about this song. And we're super excited to partner with you in getting this out to churches, worship leaders, musicians all over the world to be able to sing. So thank you so much. What an honor. Yeah, thanks for your time. to God who delivers me.